Okay, welcome along everyone. It's Laura Rim here. Sorry, I'm, I, I'm having real tech issues today. I've just tried to go live without a microphone so it didn't record, so I'm starting again. So we are here live for day five of our training on um, the keto and alkaline diet. And today's, um, I'm, just give me a second. Let me know while I'm faffing here with the technology, let me know, are you watching live or are you watching on the replay? Just type live in the comments or replay and let me know where you are in the world. We've got people here from Australia, Germany, um, America, UK, all over. So I'd love to know where you're from. Now I'm gonna share this out um, whilst I am doing that, then just type in now any of your questions that you might have, okay? So type in any questions. Hey Holly, good to see you. Uh, about the keto and alkaline diet. So what we're gonna be covering today is, we're gonna be covering the five stages of fat burning, okay? Five stages of fat burning and ketosis. So I'm just sharing this out. We're on day four. Did I say day four or day five? Let me know if I said five or four, type in the comments. I'm a day ahead of myself. I keep saying day five. I'm on day four. Oh, it's been, I tell you what, it's been a long day. Just, just let me breathe for a second and we'll get into this. I've got some really good stuff for you today. So just bear with my faffing here at the beginning. So let me just share this and then we will get going. So post, there we go. So that is sharing in our Facebook group. So if you're not aware, don't know where you're watching this from, but we have a Facebook page, Facebook group. So my Facebook page is Alkaline Diet Health with Laura Rimmer. There's like 13,000 people on that page, 12 and a half thousand. And we've got our Facebook group, which is, what's the difference between the two? The group is a more of a kind of intimate setting. It's members only. So you can post in there, it's more confidential. There's, there's more support. There's more of a sense of camaraderie and community in that group and there's currently 1,100 people in that group. So, um, so yeah, let me know where you're from then, and let me know what your number one health goal is over the next three months. People have been letting me know over the past week, and it's really interesting to me to, um, yeah, to hear what your health goal is, okay? So Holly, what is your number one health goal? What, um, what are you looking to achieve? Okay, so let's just check. Okay, this is being shared, right. Technology sorted. You can hear me, I've got my new mic, so we are ready to go. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know who I am, I'm Laura Rimmer, I'm a natural health nutritionist, um, health coach of 10 years. I've been following an alkaline diet and a keto diet, and I love the results I've had in my own life. I've gone from overweight, unfit smoker to lean, fit, vibrant marathon runner and ultra marathon runner in my late 30s. I've coached hundreds and hundreds of people one-to-one -one on improving their health and diet and lifestyle. And I've coached and helped tens, if not probably hundreds of thousands of people now by my website. So alkalinediethealthtips.com and laurarimmer.com. So today, five stages of keto, okay? The five stages of fat burning and keto. Yesterday we looked at the six foods, the six foods that you need to eat every day to thrive. And today we are looking at the five stages of fat burning, okay? Because, because, okay, ketogen ketogenesis, getting into ketosis doesn't happen by accident. No one waltzes into keto. The keto diet stands apart from all other diets out there because it's very hard and fast. It's very absolute. Now, to many people, that will um, be an off put. It will put them off trying this diet because you can't second guess it, you can't guess it, you can't um, estimate it. You need to be exact, okay? And it's very objective, it's not subjective. So what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is that you're either in ketosis or you're out of ketosis, okay? And you get into ketosis by following a very specific dietary protocol. And most people will never ever take the time, the initiative, the wherewithal, the discipline, the perceived discipline to try this diet out or to even educate themselves on it, let alone try it out. Because as soon as they hear restrictive carbs, heightened fat, then they think, 
heart disease, cancer, I'm gonna put on weight, what, no sugar, no br rice, no bread, I'm out, I can't do it, okay? Now, <laughs> if you're like me, I was in that place for many years. I looked at the keto diet probably five, no longer than that, hold on, hold on, six, seven years ago, and thought at the time, keto diet sounds like madness why would anyone want to do that so um but i'm guessing that you're here you're wanting to know more about the keto diet and the alkaline diet so i'm guessing you're if that's your if that has been your position that position's changed as it has for me um so we now know don't we from looking at days one two and three training if you haven't watched those go back and watch those after this video and you'll look at the benefits of ketosis, um, what a keto diet is, where the keto diet and the alkaline diet cross over for great success, okay? So, um, the ketogenic diet stands different to all other diets out there because of this fact that you're either in or you're out of ketosis. Other diets, you can kind of estimate them and you know that they're not too strict. This diet is different. And the benefits of that is you get amazing, outstanding results when you get it right. The downside of that is that if you get it wrong and you don't hit ketosis, you don't get the benefits. You don't, um, you don't experience all the, all the things that people talk about when they talk about the benefits of keto and fat loss and all that kind of stuff. You won't get any of that if you're not um, in healthy ketosis, okay? So, Holly says, my number one health goal is to lose weight and possibly get off some medications that I'm on now. So Holly, great goals, you're not alone. The vast majority of people I work with are in exactly the same position as, as you. And um, just to let you know a little bit of, um, yeah, what you can achieve. So the people I've just taken through my um, Keto Life course, my Keto Life program runs for four weeks, they've experienced this. So one of my ladies um, has severe kidney disease and she's experienced some really good results. Um, on the ketogenic diet. Um, another guy has lost weight quite effortlessly. There's people in our group here on Facebook who literally by accident have lost weight. So it makes me laugh because there's a couple of guys in here and they say, you know, I didn't even know I was on the ketogenic diet. My wife put me on it and I lost all this weight and I feel really good. So yeah, um, that, that, these benefits are wonderful. So um, yeah, you can certainly lose weight and hopefully get off medications with a ketogenic diet. Okay, so the five stages of ketosis and fat burning. Now, firstly to say, okay, so around the fact that ketosis, like I say, you're either in or you're out. When your body is producing um, insulin, insulin is the absolute enemy of ketones, okay? So the two are complete, complete opposites in a way. If you've got insulin in your body, and insulin is the most um, prolific and um, important hormone that your body has, okay? So insulin is produced when we eat carbohydrates. So when we eat sugar, when we eat carbs, our body produces insulin because it says there's too much, for the, you know, unless you're eating a very small amount, there's too much sugar in our blood, in the blood. We need to do something about that. So it sends this warning signal out in the form of a hormone called insulin to lower that blood sugar. Now, while all of that is going on, there's no way on earth that your body is going to be producing ketones, okay? So the two are pretty much, yeah, mutually exclusive. So as soon as you're eating carbs and producing insulin, you are not burning or producing ketones, okay? So what we need to do is to get into ketosis, to start becoming a fat burner, we need to lower those carbs right down. So I covered this more a couple of days ago, um, but in a nutshell, we need to lower our carbs down to 25 grams of car net carbohydrates a day. We need to lower our proteins to around about, well, 15% of our calories each day. And we need to greatly increase those fats up to about 80% of your calories from fats per day, okay? So that's, that's the, um, the macronutrient ratios that you need to start becoming a fat burner and to kickstart your body into producing ketones. Now, it doesn't happen right away. So what I'm going to go through today is, um, and very briefly, I'm going to give you a high-level overview um, 
are the five stages of fat burning. So let's get into that training. Now, just before we do that, if you've got any questions, type them in the comments here and um, I will answer those at the end. And do share this out with a friend, share this with a family member. Do you know what? I've got people in my family who've had heart attacks. I watched, I've watched four people die in hospital over the last 10 years and it's not been nice. You know, family members, close friends. And so, you know, I'm sure you've been touched by cancer, heart disease, diabetes in your family too. So do your family, your friends, you know, work colleagues a favor, share this video out, this information, this training, literally, and I'm not saying that because it's my training, I'm saying it because it's the truth. And I'm so enthusiastic about this because this is what works. So this stuff can change lives, okay? So do share it, share it, like, subscribe, um, comment and share, okay? So five stages of fat burning and ketosis. And I'm gonna use my notes because I there's a lot to get through um, and I don't wanna miss anything out here, so. Okay, so number one, number one. The first stage is to use up all the sugar in your blood. Now this typically takes about four hours, okay? So the between when you eat a carbohydrate and um, when you use up all the sugar in your blood, in your blood, not in your whole body, in your blood, typically takes about four hours. As soon as you eat something again, that process goes back to the start, so you've got to wait another four hours, okay? So basically, you've got to go four hours without any significant carbohydrates or proteins, um, and yeah, that will use up the sugar in your blood. Now, at this stage, your body and brain are all powered exclusively on glucose, okay? So simple sugar, and that's from the, the food that you've just eaten in the last four hours. So that's stage one. Stage two is to use up all the sugar stored in your liver, okay? And that's in the form of glycogen. Now, your liver can store around about between, rule of thumb, 1,400 to 2,000 calories in your liver, okay? So, and I was very, very aware of this when I was running marathons a few years ago and ultra marathons then I was super aware of the fact that even though I carb loaded, when I was a, a vegan, I was eating a ton of carbs. And when I was doing all my marathon training, I was eating so many carbohydrates a day, you know, around about five, 600 um, grams of carbohydrates a day. I'm now on less than 25 grams a day on a ketogenic diet. Um, so when I was doing those marathons, then I was aware that even if I had a huge plate of porridge or rice in the morning for breakfast, as I would, and then go out and run at around about kind of 15 to 18 miles into my run, <clears throat> when I was training for these long, long runs, races and things, 15 to 18 miles, if I didn't eat again, so whether that was a banana or some dates or, you know, whatever else I'd have with me, something kind of very carby and dense calories, if I didn't eat something, I would hit the wall. And you hit the wall when you exercise, also called bonking. <laughs> um, we don't tend to call it here in the UK, but hitting the wall is the term we use. You hit the wall because you're in stage two of, of the ketogenic um, kind of phasing, fat burning phasing. And that is you've depleted your liver stores of all its glycogen. So it stands to reason, right? If your liver stores 1,400 to 2,000 calories of glycogen, when I run for like 18 miles, that's roughly burned about 1,900 calories, okay? So yeah, my liver is depleted. So you need to either take on more fuel, you know, and for the vast majority of people when that happens, then they eat carbohydrates and they, you know, increase blood sugar, increase insulin, and they're not producing ketones. But what we wanna do to get um, into ketosis and become a fat burner, is we want to restrict those carbohydrates past using up all that sugar in your liver, okay? Um, and we do that by either fasting completely or we eat fats. So we don't take on new carbohydrates, don't take on a whole lot of protein, we fuel our body with fat, so we start ingesting fat, okay? So anything else I wanna say on that? Now at this stage, your body can or your liver can start producing some ketones depends really on your whether you're insulin resistant whether you've got a stubborn liver a fatty liver if you've been 
in any way had too much alcohol in your life, if you've overloaded your liver with carbs, you may have a degree of a fatty liver. If that's the case, it will take you longer. But for most people with normal, healthy liver function, then um, at this stage, at about 12 hours after um, you ate your last carbohydrate, or if you've done strenuous exercise, you know, you've depleted your liver, then your up to 20% of your fat and muscle cells can be using ketones at this stage. But the rest of your organs, your heart, your kidneys, your lungs, your skin, your blood, um, and certainly your brain are all using glucose still, okay? So that's stage two. Stage three, this um, happens at around 24 hours after you've eaten your last carb. So let's say, you know, a day ago at 5 p.m. you finished your last meal and you had your last carbs, you went to bed, you woke up the next day and you started eating in a ketogenic fashion. So lowered your carbs to 25 grams and you started, you know, fueling your body by fats or you were on a complete water fast. 24 hours later, so 5 p.m. that next day, this is where your liver starts making ketones. So you're beginning to get into ketosis. But your brain is still <laughs> running on glucose at this stage, okay? So that's where you might have heard people say, you know, your brain runs on glucose, so we shouldn't be going into ketosis. Yeah, that's true. Your brain will default mostly to running on glucose. We need to kickstart it to start it running ketones. But when it does, your brain absolutely prefers burning ketones and fat to glucose, okay? So at this stage, stage three, where your liver is making ketones, brain is running on glucose, but your body is fueled by ketones in some areas. So up to 50% of your muscle cells and your fat cells are produce, oh, it's not producing, sorry, they're burning ketones, the ketones that are produced in your liver. So this happens 24 hours after your last carbohydrate, okay? So at this stage, um, what you want to do is you want to get some keto sticks, so um, urine sticks. You want to pee on those sticks or a stick, and you should be able to see whether your body is producing ketones. If it is, that tells me that your um, liver function is pretty normal. If you're not peeing ketones at this stage, you might have a bit of a stubborn liver, um, and in worst cases, you might have pre-diabetes, you might still be producing insulin and, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is a really good way to see whether you've got any issues with your liver, with pre-diabetes, with your metabolism, okay? So yeah, I hope this is an encouragement to you. Um, so uh, yes, so you want to be restricting your carbohydrates still down to 25 grams, okay? So that's stage three. Stage four, and welcome along to new people, by the way. I can just see new people joining here still. So um, let me know if you've got any questions about this stuff. We're talking about the five stages of fat burning and ketosis. And we've gone through stages one to three. So let's look at stage four. Stage four is keto transitioning. And I'm just looking over there because my notes are there. I don't want to miss anything. So this happens around two weeks into producing ketones. So say you've been on the ketogenic diet for, and you've done it really, you know, in earnest, you've done it strictly less than 25 grams of carbs a day, 15% of your calories from protein, 80% of your calories from fat. Then two weeks into this journey, you are now um, becoming, you know, really well transitioned, but still transitioned into keto. So in this stage, right, in this stage, then your main fuel is ketones but your body is still using some glucose. Your body is stubborn. If you've been using glucose and fueling your body with carbs and sugar for decades and decades, it's gonna take a bit of time. Two weeks into ketosis, your body is still transitioning over to becoming a fat burner. So at this stage, um, then your brain <laughs> stubbornly is still using glucose. And you might be thinking, well, if I'm not ingesting glucose, where is it getting that glucose from? from gluconeogenesis, which basically means that your body is converting protein, and in some cases, some fats, back into glucose to fuel your brain, okay? Um, so, what else do you wanna say on that? So your muscle and fat at this stage are running pretty much 100% on ketones, so yeah, so that's a good thing. And 
if you've kept, as long as you've kept those carbs under 25 grams, then um, your, yeah, certainly your storage tank of glucose is completely empty by now and you are running on fats. Um, so your body is making less and less new glucose through gluconeogenesis. It's becoming really well adapted and really, or not yet completely adapted, but comfortable with producing and burning ketones. Hi, Sarah Ellen. Good to see you here. Um, so that's stage four. Now let's go on to stage five. And stage five really is the holy grail, if you like, of becoming fat adapted. This is where you are fully keto adapted or fully fat adapted. This takes round about three weeks, really. It can be three weeks. For many people, though, it can take longer. It can take a month, two months, and in some extreme cases, up to about a year, depending on how, um, you know, how stubborn your liver is, if you've got any kind of metabolic issues, if, um, what else, if you're pre-diabetic, if you're diabetic, if you have um, fatty liver disease, all that kind of stuff can affect how long it takes you to become truly a fat-burning, well-oiled machine producing and burning ketones. And this is where not only your body and fat cells and muscle cells and organs and things and skin are running on ketones, but also your brain. Your brain is now engaged. Your brain is also running on ketones. And the reason this is like the holy grail of fat burning and ketosis is because you now have all the advantages, you know, all the hype things that people say about ketosis and the amazing benefits. You get a fat-fueled brain. Your brain runs on ketones, which is a quieter fuel source. It's a much more efficient fuel source. Your mitochondria within your cells are accessing ketones. And when you're burning ketones, that produces 32 units of energy compared to two units of energy on um, each, I think it's each gram, is that the unit? Each gram of carbohydrates. So basically 16 times more energy is available to your brain. And I tell you what, boy, do you not feel it? You do feel it. You know, when I'm keto adapted, and at the moment I'm getting back, at, well, I am in ketosis, but I'm getting back into ketosis after a weekend of coming off the ketogenic diet. I was on it for a few months, then I came off this weekend. Go back and watch day one video if you want to hear my story about that. And I do not plan on coming off of ketosis again. I felt bad. I had a slice of bread. My blood sugar went all over the place and I didn't enjoy it at all. So I'm back into ketosis, um, but probably not yet. Um, my brain probably isn't back in um, ketosis yet. But when you are, you experience this huge, almost like euphoric state. So mental clarity, mental energy, you sleep really soundly. Your cravings for carbs and unhealthy foods, completely gone, diminished right down. And this is where you can start eating one meal a day, two meals a day, instead of, you know, three, four, five meals a day. Your cravings, your desire for eating a above what is necessary completely goes. You stop thinking about food. You love the energy. You love the sense of well-being. You can exercise for ages and you're burning your body fat. And, you know, not surprisingly, you start losing weight rapidly and you feel amazing. So that's the holy grail. That's where we want to be on this journey, okay? So if we're languishing around, and I know so many people who try and start a ketogenic diet, they, you know, try and go it alone and languish around in stages one, two, or three. So they're in this quasi kind of keto, ketotic middle ground of experience, all the downsides of lowering your carbs um, and without any of the benefits of being in full ketosis. And I know that because I was there for many, um, for months actually, when I first started this, until I learned exactly how to do this properly I trained with people, I learned from experts, I joined a coaching program, and I learned how to do it properly. And when I changed my approach, followed a, a specific meal plan, and got into healthy ketosis the right way, including a lot of alkaline minerals, so I wasn't experienced the keto, experiencing the keto flu like I had done previously, all of a sudden, wow, it hit me. I'm in ketosis, I'm fat adapted, I get what all these people are talking about now, I get it. I'm experiencing these benefits. 
and I want that for you too, okay? So that's why I'm taking the time to go through these five stages of fat burning. So is there anything else you want to say on that? Now just let me know um, in the comments. Let me know if you're watching live or on replay. And also ask me your questions. So what questions do you have about these five stages? I know you've got questions because I get people emailing me all the time. So this is your opportunity. Ask me questions about those five stages, about fat burning, how to get into ketosis. Sorry, that's my, um, my work alarm. So let's do a recap, shall we? Because we're, yeah, we're coming up to time here. So five stages of getting fat adapted and in, you know, fully keto adapted are number one, you've got to use up all the sugar in your blood. This takes about four hours. Number two, so stage two, use up all the sugar in the form of glycogen in your liver. And this can take anywhere up to about 12 hours. But if you're exercising, it can take a, you know, a matter of a couple of hours. Stage three is where your liver begins making ketones. So at this stage, you may well, you know, do a urine test, a keto urine test, and you'll see your first ketones, okay? So that's your kick-starting the process in stage three. This can take, uh, this, is, this starts happening 24 hours, roughly, after your last carbohydrate meal. Stage four is keto transitioning. So you're well on your way into ketosis and becoming fat adapted. Um, and you're producing ketones, your body's using ketones, but your brain is still using um, glucose for fuel. And then stage five, which is where we want to get, and my goal is to get you guys into um, stay, uh, up to stage five as quickly, efficiently, effectively as possible without any of the downsides or the keto flu symptoms. So that's, that's what I specialize in. I specialize in getting people into healthy ketosis and becoming stage five fat adapted, where you're burning ketones and when your brain is using ketones. The other benefit, when your brain is using ketones, you make better decisions. So it, it, um, it's a self, what's the word? Um, it's a virtuous circle of your brain is able to think more clearly, more rationally, you have more energy, more stability. Your blood sugar is way, way down, so you're not producing insulin, and that motivates you to carry on and produce more ketones. The ketones give you better clarity and energy of mind. That reduces your cravings more, so you make better decisions. The better decisions give you better results, which makes you um, continue to make better decisions, okay? So let's just say at this juncture, okay, we've got a few minutes left, and I will take questions. If you've struggled with emotional eating for years, if you've struggled with making the right decisions, if you wake up on a Monday morning and go, today is the day I am going to change my habits, I'm going to stop binge eating, eating all the wrong stuff, I'm stop going to stop eating a ton of sugar, um, or maybe it's not even that bad, maybe you just want to make a few small tweaks, maybe you only want to lose a few pounds, but if you can't seem to do it, and you can't seem to establish any consistency, any um, momentum, then I would say to you that the problem is not willpower, it's not discipline, it's not necessarily even emotional eating. What it is, is you're not fueling your body with the right fuel source, okay? When you get into ketosis, all of that stuff tends to effortlessly go out the window, and you haven't done anything to work on your discipline, you haven't done anything to change your emotions, what you've done is you've changed your physiology. Your physiology is so important. When you're flooding your body with insulin and sugar in your blood, and you're having this up and down of blood sugar, insulin, that physiology totally overrides any mental resolve that you might have made on a Sunday evening or a Monday morning about what diet you want to follow and your physiology takes over. Your environment is more powerful than your will, okay? That's a, I can't remember who said that, but it's a phrase that stuck with me. Your environment is more powerful your, than your will. Your environment includes your body, your bodily environment. And when your neurons, your hormones, your blood sugars, your fuel source are all functioning in kind of a bit of a, a chaotic state, you're not gonna be getting the results you want in terms of fat loss, anti-inflammation, healing, self-discipline, eating only, you know, one or two meals a day or three meals a day and not snacking and not binging and not emotional eating, okay? So the answer to all of that 
junk and rubbish and stuff that you've been telling yourself for years and stuff you've been struggling with for years? The answer, ketosis. Give me a thumbs up if, if you know that to be true, if you are understanding that this is true, if that is sounding good to you. Just give me some hearts in the comments or some thumbs up. Okay, so actions for today. I want to know, let me know um, in the comments here or post in our Facebook group, are you going to try the ketogenic diet? Are you going to commit to three weeks of getting fat adapted? Because there's no point doing it for a few days, a week, two weeks, because you're going to languish around in stages one, two, three, maybe stage four. You want to get to stage five. Stage five, as we've looked at, takes about three weeks. So are you going to commit to getting into ketosis for at least three weeks? I want to know, okay? So make stamp your mark. Either say a firm yes or a firm no. Because sat in the middle ground of going, oh, I might do, I'll think about it, but I've got all these things coming up. You'll sit and make excuses for the next three months, next six months, next year, next 10 years if you're not careful. One of my key jobs as a coach, and as I say, I've coached hundreds of people, one of my key jobs is to hold you accountable. So you're getting this free coaching, so take advantage of that. Let me hold you accountable. Are you going to do this or are you not? And if you're not, let me ask you politely, what are you doing here? Like Sarah Helen, Helen says, yes, awesome, brilliant. So if you're not going to take that jump, if you're not going to commit, why are you watching this training? Why have you taken the time to educate yourself on this? What is stopping you? Let me know. If you, and if you've got some fears, some objections, let me know and I can help you um, in the question and answer section on the next two days videos or the next day videos. And I'm also holding a webinar on Saturday. Let me help you overcome those objections because I tell you what, any objections, any worries, any fears you have have been had by other people and probably by me as well. And I've overcome those fears. And once you satisfy those fears, those objections, then you can do it. There's no barrier, right? So whether you're thinking, I don't have time, I don't have, I'm not very good at cooking, or all that kind of stuff, I can help you overcome those objections. Now, I am running, starting on the 5th of November, my next round of Keto Life. Keto Life is a four-week coaching program that does exactly this. I get you from, you know, burning carbs to becoming fully fat adapted over a transition period and then we go into full ketosis and I get you to that stage five. And I've just finished coaching a group of people and the 12 people that are, are messaging me, telling me about their results um, that I've been looking at over the last few days have said everything from, um, one lady, as I mentioned, has got severe ki uh, kidney disease. She said she's feeling good, she's lost weight, she's feeling much better than she has in a long while. Um, one guy in his 70s, I believe, says he has more energy now than when he was in his 40s. He's loving it. He's lost weight effortlessly. He's up early in the mornings, really focused, working on his business. What else? Um, another lady who had no weight to lose is just saying she's loving the meals. She's feeling great, got so much more energy. Another lady says her, um, her pain in her body, joint pain, has massively gone down. So why not? Um, because it, let me tell you this, it takes three weeks of doing this strictly. As soon as you start eating carbs again, if you've gone for like a week or two without eating any significant carbs and then you start upping the carbs again, you have to start back at square one. So it's almost like giving up smoking, giving up carbs and sugar is kind of like giving up smoking. And I'm, you absolutely need a support group. You need a plan. You need someone to help you. And also, people around you aren't going to understand what you're doing. They're going to go, why are you eating all this fat? That can't be healthy. That's going to give you heart disease. And so you need support. You need a peer group as well as a coach, okay? Um, and like I say, I got coached <laughs> to, when I first started ketosis, and I don't think I would have succeeded if I hadn't have got a coach, okay? So don't try and go this alone. Get some help. And I'd love to, for you to join me in my Keto Life program. It opens up at the weekend, so I'm opening the doors um, probably tomorrow or Saturday. If you'd like to get in before then, then there is an early bird discount and you get a um, free coaching call with me, a one-to-one -one coaching call where we can dig into your particular situation. 
So if that's of interest, private message me and I will send you details and you can sign up, okay? So places are filling up. I have people join like way before I even mentioned that I was um, opening up this course again. People just signing up. I wanna join, just sign me up. Um, I've got people, yeah, I've got, I've got one guy who's putting his whole team through the training. So do join us. This is quite probably um, the last time that I keep Keto Life at this price. It's super low, so it's just $297 for the four weeks training. You get lifetime access to all the um, videos. There's 85 bite-sized videos of me training you through this stuff. You get all the meal plans over the three weeks. You get the transition meal plan for the first week. You get a full color recipe book with about 70 recipes in, delicious recipes. Um, you get a peer support group. So we've got a small private Facebook members group where I'm interacting in there um, most days and you get to ask me questions. And then once a week, we do a small group coaching call, okay? So you get all of that and you can split the payments over two. So you can get started for just $167. And I tell you what, that is an investment absolutely worth making because this can change your life forever. When you really understand and get into ketosis, this can be an absolute game changer for you as it has been for me. Look, I was pretty healthy before I found the keto diet. When I started ketosis, it changed everything for me. And I want you to experience that as well. But I don't want you to make all the mistakes, languish around, sorry, just dropped my notes. Don't languish around in stages one, two, and three, and then decide the keto diet is too hard, you're not getting all the benefits that everyone talks about, come off of it and never experience true ketosis, okay? When you do this properly, this will save you time, money, it will save you food bills because you won't be eating as much. So this is an investment that will reap rewards and benefits years into the future, okay? And will return that investment many times over. So one of our guys is say in our group at the moment has said he's got so much energy, you know, he's starting side projects. So that $300 that it costs you to join Keto Life, when you get that back in energy and mental clarity, you can set up a side business that will make you money. That's what one of our members is doing. How phenomenal is that? Okay, so this is a, you know, I've made this price point low enough that anyone can join, okay? Anyone can afford $300. If you're telling me you can't afford $300, then I'm sorry, but you're spending money somewhere. You're spending money maybe on holidays, lattes out in coffee shops, whatever else. Two payments of $167 over the period of two months is nothing. You can afford that. I can afford that. If you have to put it on a credit card, borrow from a family member, I would suggest doing it. And I don't say that lightly. I'm saying that because it's the truth and this stuff can help you, okay? And once you learn this stuff, go teach it to your family members. Get them to join Keto Life. Affiliates, uh, sorry, alumni of my Keto Life program can become affiliates and you will get a $75 commission for anyone you refer to the program. And I've got, again, guys in our group who've done exactly that and they've earned commission from recommending it to friends and family. So this could potentially be a business partnership between you and I as well, if you want it to be. So I'm gonna leave it there today. I, do you know what, I have no questions here at the moment. So um, if there aren't any questions, I will sign off for today. We're going live for day five tomorrow, um, and I'm gonna be talking about the, how to avoid the common mistakes when starting a ketogenic diet tomorrow and other Q&A questions as well. So I've had some questions throughout the last week in our Facebook group. So I'm going to be, uh, you know, bringing those all together, answering common questions. Um, and also I've, I'm holding a webinar, a live webinar on Saturday, same time, which is a big overview and kind of will consolidate all of this training um, on Saturday evening. So join me live for that. That's going to be held on Zoom. So anything else I want to say before I go? I don't think so. So yeah, do PM me, private message me if you're interested in learning more, finding out about Keto Life and possibly joining me in that program. I'd love to have you, I'd love to train you. Keto is a game changer, um, but you need to get to stage five. You need to become fat adapted, okay? And that takes determination and support and you need someone to coach you through that process, okay? So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for day five, okay? Bye.